having all its babeness, the second installment of India's paranormal activity, Ragini MMS2 looks gorgeous in those posters, where Sunny Leone, the hot Indo-Canadian bimbo, turns out to be basically a formalic throwback, lacking in personality and failing to offer enough sex or suspense to justify its addition and Sunny Leone inclusion. This movie is acceptably scary and teasingly tilting for those who get scared around by anything offered by B-Town scare films and are okay with just a sultry smooch and a girl-to-girl -girl kiss. Otherwise, Balaji's Ragini MMS2, helmed by Bhushan Patel, fails to succeed even on its own limited terms as in Horex. Bhushan Patel and Ishita Moitra take it further from the prequel, borrowing from horror flicks and shows from the West beginning right from the opening credits. Ragini MMS2 opens with the possessed Ragini in mental asylum pleading for help while Rock's announcing a film on Ragini's story introducing the pawn sensation Sunny, he wants to shoot at the actual location where Ragini got possessed. The shoot begins and the audience is introduced to some comic characters like Sandhya Brudul and Karan Mehra and a writer Sahil Prem who presumably are added to provide comic and romantic relief. But alas, the spook does not come in plenty and it becomes tiring to watch Sunny Leone's stone body in those designer panties smelling something eerie does not quite carry. Anyways, the occasional spook does happen with some titillations by Sunny, but not before popping into a rain song with the writer that comes from nowhere in this care. Thank heavens, a foreign written psychiatrist played by Divya Datta unfolds the twist in the spooky tale, providing the best, eeriest moment of the movie during the climax without any surprise. Also providing the most connecting and interactive moment of the entire film when the audience moans sequel which is more pleasurable than Sunny Leone's fake orgasm parody in this Horex malady which tell lines such as Tum porno se ritu porno kab ban gai? Sunny Leone is gorgeous but she still needs to act. Acting is not just faking orgasms and moaning in front of camera. Ragini MMS2 is neither that sexy nor that scary as it should be, nor it's horrible. That's not to say the movie is good. Well, maybe after char bottles of vodka, the movie might become, if not you.